Is that my English? Uh, we can try it in English. It's not perfect, but I try. <laughs> oh, my, my, my also not perfect. Natalie, could you just go and introduce yourself? Yes, uh, so um, I'm Natalie Klinke. I'm a, a freelancer from Bielefeld and uh, I've been in the Taiko 3 community since uh, 2008 uh, as a more active person. And since last year, I'm part of the Taiko 3 marketing team. And yeah, so this is. What was your first Taiko 3 version? My first Taiko 3 version was 3.3.6. Six, I think. Don't know. Yeah. Before 3.8. That one before 3.8. Okay. Um, you mentioned the marketing team. Yes. Um, what is the marketing team? Uh, yeah, the marketing team is a, a, a team from outside of the Taiko 3 Association. We have a budget from the association and uh, we should uh, take care uh, to, for example, to make publicity uh, for the association and for all the things that happens uh, inside the community or inside the project itself. And uh, yeah, currently um, we are very much focused on um, uh, to support the Taiko 3 Inc. Uh, with stuff uh, because from our view it is uh, that uh, through the founding of the Taiko from the Taiko 3 Inc. a lot of power comes uh, into the project and uh, um, there's also people are a little bit um, unsafe. W what does it mean to the persons and we try to um, uh, to um, to clear these questions and support the Taiko 3 Inc. Uh, you know, to publish their uh, services, what they what they bring to the community, and also over the top, then also for the Taiko 3 project uh, stuff as well. So, give me a, a concrete example. What what have you been doing? A concrete example would be so. For example, in this year we have helped to uh, launch the Taiko3.com web page and. Um, uh, so, on the other hand, for the Typo 3 Association, we have created flyers about uh, Typo 3 itself and then a special flyer for Typo 3 version uh, volume 8. And um, uh, we have created an introduction video for Typo 3 uh, that is addressed to a very new persons who've never ha have been in touch with Typo 3 or never have heard uh, the name Typo 3. And it explains what you can do with it in a very basic uh, explanation. And uh, yeah, next, uh, what uh, we are focused on in from the 11th to the 18th of November, we have a marketing sprint for three days, and we invite people who are interested to um, participate to our team to come there. And then there we will have the topics. We make a short uh, workshop for the Taiko 3 brand. We want to um, build a stronger brand, and we also uh, will be supported by a very popular um, agency who helps us with it. Then uh, we will want to create um, a comparison between Typo 3 and other CMS, so that this will be available ava available uh, for all people in the community, so that they can take it. For example, if they go to a pitch uh, to their customers, um, and we will make a Typo 3 slide deck. Uh, that is uh, the um, the target is uh, also the same. So it is uh, for people who uh, want to present Typo 3 to their customers. And uh, inside should be a whole overview uh, of Typo 3. So, uh, what is the organizational form? What is Typo 3? With, uh, what features does it have? What is the community? What kind of events uh, does we have? Or where can you participate? How can you contribute? And all that. And it should be made like this that you can take out the part that is interesting for you and can use it for your own stuff. Then the next will be we want to support the. Um, the team uh, for the Typo 3 Org relaunch. Uh, this is uh, a, a topic actually that the Typo 3 Org should be relaunched. And from the marketing team side, we want to help help uh, to create a good information structure and uh, want to um, analyze which uh, topics are most interesting for the people and want to have a look which content does we have. Is this content uh, still uh, up to date or not? Or that we, did, uh, that, uh, did we have to get in contact with the persons? You know, to um, to renew the content and then we want to look on the information structure if we can find a good um, and more lean information structure that it is not that complicated to find anything. But we have to look how far we go and this is just uh, to support the, the other team. Then the next topic is marketing for the Typo 3 Inc. Uh, and uh, uh, this is a little bit so 
uh, this is only content marketing what we try to uh, solve there. Uh, so, for example, we had the idea to offer a possibility on when you come to the web page that you have a small survey. Um, uh, this is just an example topic, so we have not uh, make a fix, uh, fix the, we have not fixed the topic. But for example, you come to the web page, then you have a little survey. Survey uh, if typo three is uh, if you if it is good to you uh, or if typo three is the best solution for your company. Yeah, so you will open it up and then you will be asked, for example, how big is your company, what features do you need, and something like that, and in the end you will get a result. And uh, the other thing is we want to implement um, a possibility to collect email uh, addresses. Um, so um, people who are interested in Typo 3, for example, uh, that we collect email addresses and that, that we later uh, on can send uh, um, newsletter or information uh, especially addressed to these people. And the next thing is we want to write some articles to place it in uh, TechCrunch and Mashable and we want to look for um, uh, relevant blogs and uh, what, what is interesting for us and ask for uh, guest po posts uh, that we can place there and we want to create the content for that. And the last thing is uh, about the marketing team itself. So actually the situation in the marketing team is then we are five persons and uh, through the founding of the Typo 3 Inc. we had a lot of opportunities and a lot of tasks and um, that's why we try uh, to grow the team. And uh, the last uh, part of the uh, is also kind of a workshop where we want to figure out which tools do we need uh, that we have better, better possibilities to work with people who are remote and uh, could not always attend uh, to, uh, to uh, meetings here in Germany. Yeah, so that's yeah uh, was all Curious because you mentioned such a huge task list, yes. <laughs> and you're just five persons, so yes. you're you're looking for people who can yes, join you, absolutely. who can help you on marketing, yes. on writing text yes. in different languages, yeah. doing the concepts for this. Yes. This this are for people. Here. Okay, so if if you are <coughs> able to do this, contact Natalie, contact yes. the marketing team. Yeah. Um, the contact details are on the Typo Free Org website. Yeah, uh, so you can have a look on uh, t3marketingsprint.org. Uh, there you will find all information to the sprint itself. And uh, there you have the possibility to apply. Uh, and we have uh, around about 30 places. So, And if you want to attend uh, uh, travel costs and um, accommodation, Coordination <laughs> will be covered for you, so only you, you only have to invest the time, and uh, the, for the rest you don't have to care for that. And we're really looking for persons who want to attend to the team and uh, could uh, help us with these uh, different parts of stuff that has to be done. It's again in Bad Homburg. In the yes, it is in Frankfurt, okay. Bad Homburg again. Yes, great, great place to be. Very nice. Yes, um, you're doing your work with Taco Free. Then? You're, you're, you're earning your money by working with Typo Free. Yes, I'm freelancer and uh, I sell I sell Typo Free projects. Yes. And uh, sometimes you don't work with Typo Free. You don't sit with a computer. What you're doing in your free time? What, <laughs> so it's, it's it's also community to to get the people a bit more interest information about what what other people doing. What's, yeah. What's are their hobbies? Uh, Peter just I, told I me that to his hobbies honest, is uh, opera. I have to be honest. So if I don't work. If I don't really work on a project on my computer, then most of the time I do stuff for the Type of Free Association, <laughs> or <laughs> I do stuff for my for my for. So I really spend a lot of time in front of the computer. <laughs> uh, but if I don't do that, so um, uh, I'm very connected to my friends, and uh, I love to cook with my friends. Uh, for example, I, a lot of times I invite friends to my home, and we sit together with 15 persons and cooking together. Or I like to go out and dancing and yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, Home Perfect House as a type of free camp. Yes. Why did you join us? Yeah, I think it's, it is one of the most uh, wonderful camps uh, that is offered to the community. The Unperfect House is a very special location and I really recommend to everybody to be one time, at least one time here to see that. And also the organization is fantastic, yeah, you never have the lack of information or be hungry or the food is not good or something like that. And uh, all, then on top here are a lot of participants and uh, it's a huge, uh, huge spectrum of information that you get here. So that is the reason why I always love to come. 
Thank you. Thank you for the interview. Yes, thank you. And have some last time today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Shake <laughs> <Yes. laughs>